I wanted to talk a little bit about hallowed helms. Now I think hallowed helms are kind of becoming almost a must-have item, kind of like stonebinders cuffs. Now they got plus one to all skills, which of course is useful to everybody, and vitality resistance. And since they added the uh, vitality resistance penalty in anniversary edition, so you're now at minus 100 in legendary, it's really hard to get your vitality resistance up. So a good source for that is hallowed helms. Now they're going to range from 40 to 60 percent. So this one here I have is at the cap of 60. So you'd be lucky if you find one like from 55 to 60. A lot of times they're less. And they're the same from normal to epic to legendary. The only thing that changes really is the armor. And the base stats on them, this one has a relic on it, but normally their vitality resistance, health regen, it's either going to be one or two, and one to all skills. Sometimes you can get another affix on there, like this one has intelligence also. Anything extra is a bonus also on that. So the problem is with these, I guess it's not really a problem, but they're ugly. You know, they're just not a good looking item. Very boring looking helms. That's from the vendor. They can also drop in the game. They're kind of a more rare type of helm. You'll find a lot of the other green helms more often than uh, hallowed. But there's some you may not really be aware of, and you could be leaving them on the ground without noticing. They're monster rares. I made a video a little bit about monster rares because in Anniversary Edition, monster and frequents are the olive color. And all other monster drops are that yellowish color. It's like an off yellow to differentiate them from the normal yellows. So they're monster specific, but they can also be rare. And in the old Titan Quest, they would also have been green. So in Anniversary Edition, they're all the same yellowish color, but they will have a green twinkle to them when they're on the ground, which is extremely hard to see. See it right there? And if it's, if it's uh, in bright light or if there's grass on the ground, anything like that, you're probably going to miss that. And it just looks like a yellow Gorgon crown. This is something you could find while farming for stonebinders cuffs. So let me get back in position here. All right, so anyways, all the monster drops can also come in the hallowed affix. So like that one, the Gorgon crown, it's a hallowed Gorgon crown. So it's got a little bit different look. This one doesn't look that great either, really, but there are some really good-looking ones out there. So this one came in Epic off of Gigante, and I was lucky I picked it up and looked at it because I didn't see the green light on it. But that's a pretty good-looking helm right there. It's a lot better looking than a store-bought uh, hallowed helm. And then there's, here's a Makai, a Makai hallowed helm. That's pretty cool looking too. It's got that horn on it. And take a look at this. This comes from uh, Formicid's. Formicid's skull plate, hallowed. Tell me you don't think they didn't style this after a head crab from Half-Life 2. That looks almost exactly like a head crab. So that's kind of cool looking. Uh, my favorite one so far, and I'm still looking for these, I always keep my eye out, is this Tropical Arachnos Mask. This actually looks like a really nice helm. It almost looks like something you'd find as a legendary helm. So that's like the normal one I'm wearing right now, but I'm still keeping my eye out for others. So when you see those yellow monster items on the ground, make sure you give them a second look, because you could be passing up some hallowed helms. They're just under your feet and you don't know it. So the absolute best version of, of Hallowed Helms would be a Monster Infrequent. Now they're super rare. I have not seen one drop yet in Anniversary Edition. But if you find one, they're going to have the Hallowed stats plus whatever the normal Monster Infrequent stats are. Now I use the mod Shop MI just so you can look at one. Um, you can't like take these out and use them in the game, but they're... There's, this is a nice mod if you want to see what is out there. If you have the patience to farm long enough, you could find some of these items. But this is a, like a really good hallowed monster and frequent helm. So it's something to keep your eye out for. And if you find something like this, treasure it because it's super rare. And hopefully it would be on legendary so it would have a lot of armor on it.
So anyways, that's something to look for. I got some more videos in the work now that I'm done with the playthrough, and I'll see you again soon.